Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. We are going to paint our wagon inserts um, for the month of April. So, got a couple of different themes going for April. The V kits are launched on the website as of this morning, so they are available. Um, but that's the theme that we're going with right now is bees. We got this cute little bee gnome lady. We got a little gnome man. Good morning, Brandy. Hello, Sue. And then we got a cute little honey pot. And our theme for this one is be happy. So we're going to go ahead and get this painted. Good morning, Rhonda. All right, give me a second. Oops. And for anybody that's new, these go into the wagon. So it's a wagon insert. It'll all go on this little wagon. Um, it's just going to be our bee theme. Good morning, Cindy. Hello, Carlene. Oh, thank you, Sue. I just got them. Look at, they're the ones that they change. Aren't those cool? All right, let me tip you guys down and we'll go ahead and get started. Now for bees. Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate that. Um, we could do a couple of different colors. We could do orange if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to stick with just like black and yellow. Typical bee colors. What do you guys think? I don't even have any colors pulled out of here yet. Uh, let's see. Hello, hello. All right, sorry. I came down here, I was updating stuff, got sidetracked and I looked at the clock and I said, oh my goodness, I gotta go live. All right, so I do have two different colored wagons. I have a red wagon that I painted and I have a brown wagon. So we could do, thank you so much for sprinkling. I appreciate that. We could do, I don't know what colors to do. Should we do a black background on the sign and then yellow? writing. I'm going to need some white. Let me find my white here. All right, let's start with, I don't even know where to start. I'm overwhelmed. Let's go with our little lady bee. I think she'll be cute. Or our little lady gnome, I should say. So there she is. She's got a little beehive and a bee on the top of her hat. <clears throat> This could be more difficult than I thought it was going to be. To tell you the truth, I was thinking this would be fun and easy because it's just like two colors, really. But we will see. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do um, toasted marshmallow for their skin tone. So I'm going to do the nose. I think they do have little hands. Yeah, their little hands show through. So we'll do the toasted marshmallow for that. And this is the, what is it? Crafting in the garden week. Is that what we're calling it? I don't remember the name exactly, but bees work because bees um, are in the garden. No, I can't turn my phone. Sorry. I've tried that and it. It just doesn't work for me. I feel super backwards. I have chronic vertigo and it messes with my dizziness, so I can't work backwards. Good morning, Pamela. All right, so there's their little hands, or sorry, their noses. My goodness, then I'm going to do their hands. That's what I was going to say. Let me know what other colors we could do for bees. I mean, obviously black and yellow. Hi, Peggy. I do have my computer open down here. I could pull up. I could pull up some bees and see. Hello, Connie. These do have a lot of um, little details on them too. This might take a while. It might take a while. That's all right. We'll try to get our first layer of everything on here, and then I can go through and do second coats of everything later. I'm going to try and pull up some B pictures over here on my um, computer real quick and see what I come up with for some different paint colors. So I was thinking, thank you so much for sprinkling. I appreciate it. I was thinking doing black for the background and yellow on the top on the letters. What do you guys think of that? Let me know. Let's see. Let's 
They're little bumblebees. They're gonna be black and yellow striped. I think I'm gonna do yellow on their hats up here for the beehive. We'll just be like, they're gonna be pretty plain. They're not gonna be too many colors today. Let's see. Bumblebees. Good morning, Rhonda. Hi, Susan. All right, let's do, I'm gonna do the bees first. Those are easy, I think. <laughs> Good morning, Bonnie. Some bees have a brown tint. There you go, we could add some brown in. Yeah, throw some colors at me, guys, because other than black and yellow, I'm not really sure what colors to paint with today. All right, so our B is gonna be mostly black and then with the yellow stripes, I think is how they go. And yes, I do switch back and forth between the sponge and the paintbrush, so I'm sure I'll switch at some point, but right now the paintbrush is just here and handy, so that's what I'm using. Because somebody always asks, could you change the gnome's hair a different color? Yeah, we could do the gnome any color. What color hair should we have for the gnome? So they've got the different, their hats, I was thinking to do yellow like the beehive, but she has, she's got hair like braids or something or curly hair, I'm not sure. And then he's got his, um, you know, what do you call it? His beard. So we could do the hair on them different colors. What colors should we do? Good morning, Marcy, welcome. A little white in the wings, yeah. When you get off, can you see if you got my mic? Yeah, I'll check on that, Brandy. All right, so there we go. And then, so every other stripe will be black and yellow. So let's do, these are little, little lines. I do have some baseball theme pieces launching next week. So we've got bees and then we'll have baseball. And then I have, I think I'm gonna do some Mother's Day stuff towards the end of the month. So here's our little bee so far. And then I'll paint that yellow inside of there, but I wanna wait until it's dry. Otherwise it'll smear all over and be nasty. But we can definitely stick some white highlights on here um, when it's dry too. Good morning, mom. Thanks so much, Deborah, for sprinkling red copper color highlights for the hair. That would be pretty, Pamela. Uh, let's see. A little white in the wings. Could change the gnome's hair. Okay. So for, was it St. Patrick's Day? I think I did my gnomes with like red hair on those ones or orange. I think it was orange. So I change my gnomes up a little bit with each season, but all right, there's our second B and then I'll paint the stripes yellow. Hey, Karen, <clears throat> um, he is doing better. Yes. Thank you so much for checking on him. All right, so let's do, I was just gonna do white. Should I do orange for their hair? Like a reddish orangey color? I have got, I've got spiced carrot. My nose is itchy today. We could mix some nutmeg brown in there with it. It might give it a reddish tint. Oh, thanks, Pamela. Hey, Tracy, hi, Lisa. Good morning, Nancy. Hi, Sherry. All right, let's see. So, well, you know what? I'm so confused on what colors to use, guys. I don't even know. Here, we got another B. Let's do our other B. Thanks for the stars. I appreciate it. Okay. 
the bees are the easy part and then the other ones I'm not sure yet once I get the first piece of a um like collection painted then I kind of know what colors and it's easier to go from there but I never know the first piece that I paint what colors I want to go with Hi, Lisa. Yes, it is. It's cut out of MDF. Purple for the girl or pink. Ooh, for her, like for her dress. We could do their hat. Well, let's see. Hold on a second. Let me think a minute. She has a dress on and then they each have little shoes. So she could have her dress done in pink or purple. And then I guess we could do the hat that way too. How do I get stars? I tried. Um, I am honestly not sure. Hi, Wanda. Let's see. All right, so purple or pink for our girl. We'll do some purple or pink. I think the pink dress would be cute. Maybe we'll give her... Well, if we do yellow top for the beehive, then we don't want to do yellow hair. I was going to say some yellow hair, but let's find a pink. Let's do, let's do this fuchsia color. Oh, weird. I'm not sure. Facebook is strange, so there's always some sort of glitch going on. <clears throat> Purple for the dress and pink hair. We could do that. I might do this. Let's do pink and blue. They don't all have to be B colors, right? I mean, oh, I lost connection for a second, guys. I hope I didn't lose you guys. I was going to do yellow on the hat. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't really know what I want to do. I'm going to do the pink dress for her real quick because that part I do know. Now that we talked about it, I think pink dress will look cute. This will definitely need a second coat. It's not going to be very bright right now but the second coat will look really good. And then we'll do blue for our boy. Or we could do green, Preston likes green. I think blue though, pink and blue. All right, so there will be her dress. I think I'm just gonna do black shoes for both of them, it's just easy. I kind of want yellow hair with her pink dress and then do like a multicolor pink ombre um, for her hat. Hi, Karen. I got an eyelash or something in my eye. Oh, you don't have iPhone. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Hi Donna, I am. I have my craft around the clock shirt on, but I came down here and it's too cold, so I put on my robe so I don't freeze to death. Can't purchase stars from an iPad, but you can from your iPhone. Oh, that's so strange. Well, now we know. Okay, I am going to do this. I was not going to. I was going to do them all like the same colors, but we are going to do, we're just going to throw in some different colors. Hello, Lisa. Just a phone won't work on iPad. Okay, so any phone. It doesn't have to be an iPhone. It just won't work on an iPad. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's do, we're going to start with a dark pink up here. And then I'm just going to change into a lighter pink. And just kind of blend them and then I'll go into the lightest pink last and then I'll go back through and re-blend them again so they look better because the first coat doesn't blend the best but it will look good when it's all done. So she'll look something like this and then I'm going to give her yellow hair. I know we talked about red hair orange hair, all the different. I think I want her to be yellow because we are working with bees. So then she'll kind of match the bees with her hair. Thanks, Melissa. 
All right, let's do find me a new sponge here. For my yellow, let's see, because there's so many different yellows. I'm going to use King's Gold for my yellow today. I do have to keep track of my time. I do, I get into these kits sometimes and I lose track. Where do you get the wood supplies? I um, cut these on my laser. They are available on my website, the kits. I can share a link when we're done here, but it's dizzydesigner.com. And it is linked on my page as well. All right, so there we go. And then we got our little nose here. Let me do her, her feet, her um, shoes. I'm gonna do those in black real quick. And remember again, this is not the final, this is just the first coat. So it's gonna be much brighter, I guess. Um, when it's all finished completely. There's that. <clears throat> Good morning, Darla. Mm, let's see. Let's see, let's see, here we go. She holds the beehive. So I gotta figure out what color I'm gonna do the beehive, but here's our girl. Oh, we have a bee to put in our hair. Hold on, we gotta do a bee. I did the black part and I didn't put the yellow one yet. And she'll have a little bee in her hair as well. So there is our little girl. I do need to come up with a color for this because I was thinking maybe the same color, but then her hands will blend in. So I need to do something different for that. Maybe I can do like a light tan for that. All right, then we'll move on to our little boy gnome. Thank you, April. Good morning, Tracy. Okay. Should we do just a white beard for him? What color should his beard be? I'm gonna do blue for his hat. I'm gonna do a couple different color blues, I think. Just like we did her hat. Let's do, let's try these ones. I don't know how they'll work together. Or should we do these ones? We're gonna do these ones. We'll see how they blend. I'm not sure, I haven't done them before. Yeah, little garden gnomes with bees. And then they're the wagon inserts, so they'll go in the wagon. So I thought that fit perfectly for our gardening week. All right, let's grab this one. I'm going to do the same thing for him. Start with the darker blue up top. Oops, this sponge is... And then we'll go into a lighter blue. Ooh, I like the way these two blues blend together. These look pretty. And then I'll do my lightest blue last. White beard, all right. I don't feel like this one blended very well. I'm gonna go back through and add some more of that middle color. This one just kind of took over. I guess they're just pretty similar. Maybe that's the deal. Sorry, I gotta do a second coat. When I do my second coat, they'll blend better when I pull it down. So that will go over here for a minute. We'll do a white beard. Let me finish my bumblebees, yellow stripes. Does anybody love garden gnomes? 
I do. I'm obsessed with little garden gnomes. I like the little naughty gnomes that you can put in your garden. I think they're funny. The makeup sponges. Yes, I love them. All right, so we got a bumblebee in his hair. And then he holds our little honey stick. I don't know what you call that. Good morning, Carol. Hi, Karen. Get some white out and I'm gonna use a brush for this part too, just because it's a bigger piece. My trick to making it look 3D is just kind of float like I go in the direction with the beard. So it's not painted all in the same direction. It makes it look like it's flowy, like a real moving beard. There we go. First coat on that. Give him some black shoes as well. What color should we do our background on our sign, our be happy sign? I'm thinking black's gonna be too dark now. I think I'll do our be happy and yellow or writing, but well, maybe not. Depends, I guess, on what we do the background on. So let me put them together for you guys to get in here just a second. I don't wanna I don't wanna put his beard on here and smear it yet. So here's our man. He's got our little stick thing here and there's our little lady and then he's gonna have the white beard I just don't want to stick it on here because his his feet are um, wet still so we've got our little honey pot to paint still and our be happy so let me know what you think we should do for our be happy thank you so much Cynthia I appreciate that I'm gonna move these off to the side and I guess we'll work on our honey pot. So this is gonna be, this is honey, it's spilling over. So that part is probably gonna be yellow. Should it just be a black pot? We could do a black pot with the yellow. I think that's what we'll do for this. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna use this brush again. If it was warm here, I would have done something outside like in the actual garden, but it's cold. It snowed again last night. Not a lot, just a little, but black on the back, yellow for the words. I was thinking that. We can definitely give that a try. And we're gonna paint this little stick part here black. So this is gonna go right on here. The rest should cover up. And where did my yellow go? And again, just first coats right now, so it's not, not as pretty as it's gonna be when it's all done, but we will, it's gonna look good when it's done, I think. So there's our little honey spilling out of our pot. Cute. I think I'll just do the word honey in yellow as well. These kits as well as, I believe there's five total bee kits. So these ones and then four more are available on the website. They're in the, under the spring collection. Um, so if you're interested, that's where you'll find them. So there's that. And then I think, yeah, this little bumblebee will go on our honey pot.
like so. Thank you. Snowed a little in Chicago too. I'm tired of it. So many little parts. It is definitely a lot of little parts, but it's fun. I like doing these. I started out doing canvases, but I love doing these now. These are my favorite. So we can do, here's what our honey pot looks like. We can do the same with this black background and yellow lettering. Do you guys like that idea? Good morning, Lisa. And I still do have to do some little parts on here that I haven't finished. I don't know, is this yellow then? I guess maybe part of it can be yellow. Let's do, cause it would have honey, right? It's the little stir thingy. Do you like my words? They're so technical. Thanks so much for the stars. You like the yellow on black, okay. Let's do, it'll look like we got honey dripping on here this way. Maybe we'll do, I could do like a orange maybe on the other half of this. And I'm just gonna make my little stick here like brown. Wait a minute, I did that backwards. Hold on, I'm gonna paint this whole thing yellow right now because this is the part that's got the drip, right? It's got the little piece of honey dripping off. So I'll paint the other side something different. I had the right concept in my mind, I just did it backwards. All right, and then I'm gonna make my little stir stick just a brown color. Um, nutmeg is pretty darn close to, I see orders coming through. Thank you guys if you're watching. Um, it's really close to the color of the MDF, but it just gives it a finished look instead of leaving it unpainted. And I just gotta be careful around the little fingers here. I'm excited to get all the bees painted and put up down here. Right now I've got all the Easter stuff up still. It's not Easter yet, so that's okay. But I'm ready for spring. Who else is ready for spring? Spring and summer, that's what I got on my mind. So there's our little, let's do, we can just do this in the brown maybe on this other side. I just put it right over the wet yellow so it's not, it's kind of yellowy brown. So it's perfect actually, because it looks like it's got, I like it. Or yellow background in black letters. Oh, maybe we could do that and kind of flip it and make it opposite so it's not the exact same. All right, and then on this, I think I'm gonna do the same nutmeg color on this part. I'm gonna use a bigger brush or we'll be here all day doing that. I do have to go through around the fingers and do the smaller brush though, otherwise I'll go right over my lines and make a sloppy mess. There we go. So let me put this together again, show you where we're at so far for anybody just hopping on. Thanks so much for the stars. Ring on spring, yes. Ready for spring. Yes, I agree. Super ready for spring. We had a nice weekend a couple weeks ago. That was like spring. And then we got winter back right after that. So that wasn't very nice. So our little boy, I'm trying to see what you guys can see on the camera here. 
little girl or little honey pot. So I do like that idea of doing yellow in the background and then black letters. It'll be opposite of our pot. Just ordered. Thank you so much for the order. I appreciate it. I'm going to be working on cutting orders. Now I'm getting warm. I'm going to be working on cutting orders tonight and all weekend. So I will ship everything out hopefully on Monday. All right, so we'll do yellow background. That's got black. We got to rinse that off. Thank you for the stars. Good morning, Rita. What time are we at? Okay, we got about 15 minutes left, so we're doing good. We'll get our, our base on of everything, and then I'll have to finish it all this weekend, and I'll get some pictures taken, and I'll post the final project once it's all finished. I feel good as long as we can get a first coat on everything and you guys can kind of see what it's going to look like. Looks way better with a second coat and then sometimes I do add some details like some shading and outlines and things like that. I don't always do that. It depends on the kit, but that really brings it to life. Uh, let's see here. All over the place. Oh, I know. I hate it when it's this time of year when everything's just, you never know from day to day. Or sometimes you wake up and it's freezing cold in the morning and then by the afternoon it's super warm. I don't like those days. All right, let's see. I gotta paint our bases and we'll paint our little pieces here. So the rest of this is gonna be black. I'm just gonna dip right into the black. That's our base for our honey pot to sit in so it'll stand up in the wagon. It won't be stuck sitting down in there. It'll, it'll be good. I just decided to do this in black. I don't know why. Just because, I guess. And then our be happy. And then we can, well, I'm not gonna glue it all together because it's not finished. I'm gonna do a second coat. So we'll just start working on our second coats of some things. I don't think we'll finish because we've only got less than 15 minutes now, but maybe we can finish a piece or two and get it glued down. some more black. Good morning, Billy. All right, there we go. So I guess we'll just jump back over to our little lady that we started with because she's fully dry. We can do our second coats of everything on her and then get her glued down. Thank you so much for the stars. You guys are awesome. All right, where did my, did I use a sponge for this? Yes, I did, here it is. I guess you really can't see on the yellow. You can usually tell the big difference between the first coat and the second coat. So if you're new to painting and you've just thrown one coat on, don't expect it to be perfect yet. You gotta trust the process and just keep chugging along. It'll look good when you're done. I should have done this backwards. Maybe I'm gonna change her dress, I am. I'm gonna do her dress darker, like the top color, and then it'll have that ombre effect, like her whole body will kind of look that way. Changed my mind. It's all right, it's still a second coat and it's darker, so it'll look perfect. I could do the whole dress ombre, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna just do it purple, or not purple, my goodness, pink, and then do the ombre part on the hat. That will look good. 
we'll start with dark up top again. Good morning, Cindy. Cynthia, he is doing better. Thank you for asking. It was a rough, about 24 hours, I guess, with him. And then now he's better, so that's good. And if you see what I do here, I do not like grab a new brush or anything, or not brush, sponge or anything. I just go right into the next color and kind of blend the two of them together like so. And then I have my last color here. I just put it right on the same sponge. It blends a little bit better that way, I think. I'm going to do a little bit more of this medium color to blend the line in. There we go. I don't think I'm going to do a second coat on my black. Probably not on my bumblebees at all. I think the bumblebees look good. And I think her, her nose is good. Let's see. Might just be the big pieces that need the second coat. I see a huge difference now putting this together. Looks nice and pretty. Here's her little nose, her bumblebee, and her little hive. So there's our little girl. I'm gonna let it dry for just a minute and then we can glue it together. I'll go ahead and work on the boy and we can get, we might be able to get it all glued together. I don't know. We might be pushing it to try to do everything. We'll see. All right, same thing with our boy. I'm gonna dip into our darkest blue first. And this sponge is not very good because I forget to wash them or I'm, I don't forget, I'm too lazy. Sometimes I forget, but usually I'm just too lazy. And so they get kind of crunchy. Thank you. Thank you guys. We'll dip into our medium blue next without changing our sponge out. And sometimes with the lighter blue, you have to go back in with the darker blue to kind of blend a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing here, grabbing another little bit of the dark and just blending the edges out a little bit. Why is that so funky looking? There we go. And then our lightest blue. It's kind of got some funny spots in it. I think it's just the way it's drying right now. But if it looks goofy, I'll go back through and fix it. No, I think it's good. It's just the way it's drying. So there's our blue. Don't know how to dress. I know it. <laughs> good morning, Becky. Same with this beard. I might not do a second coat on that either. It kind of makes it look like it's just gray. It's not super white. Um, I'll be careful of his, his blue hat is still wet. I'm just going to drop his nose on there. So there's our boy and our girl should be dry enough to paint or to paint. My goodness, Ray, to glue down. Favorite glue I show every time, but stick fast. I always get questions on it. So that's what I'm using. I get it on Amazon. You may be able to get it other places. I said last week I was going to check and I never did get around to that. So I apologize. I'm not sure if anybody else is on here though that uses it. If you get it somewhere other than Amazon, let us know where else you can get the glue. Because everybody always asks about it and I don't know other than Amazon. I'm hungry this morning. I'm gonna have to go upstairs and make some breakfast real quick before I work. Hmm, why is this not fitting in here? Did it slide on me? It did, it slid a little, so it's gonna be slightly crooked. That's all right, you're not even gonna notice when it gets um, put into the wagon. You will not be able to tell at all. Actually, once it's all glued down, you won't be able to tell at all. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Cynthia. Let's 
Hmm. Let's put her bee. I'm going to put her bumblebee right up here so that you can see all of the color change there. This glue does dry super fast, so you just want to be careful. You don't glue your fingers together. I've done that. Um, no, I got glue on her. It'll dry clear. You won't see it. And then you just got to give her a little beehive here. Oh, thank you. I've been painting pretty consistently for the last three years now. Before that, I've painted on and off, but I've been pretty consistent for a while now. And you definitely get better with time, so just got to keep doing it. All right, so there's our little girl. I think she's super cute. I'm excited about this one. I'm glad that we went with different colors because I was just gonna do yellow and black and that would have been boring. Hopefully I can get this on here right so it doesn't slide. <laughs> we'll see. I think he's lined up perfect. Good morning, Jane. Um, also, I forgot I was going to mention, so I'm glad I just remembered in time. Um, we have got just a few minutes left. I'm going to try to glue this real quick and give you this last announcement. My subscription box is closing to new members after the 10th of this month. I'm going to close it and I'm not going to reopen it until sometime this fall. I'm getting a new machine shortly and just other things that I've got going on. That's going to take a lot of time. And so I'm going to focus just on the members that I have after April 10th um, and then we'll open up again in the fall. So if it's something you've been thinking about, you probably want to join now. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck waiting, I don't know, until at least August, I would say, before I open back up. It might be longer. And you do get um, an exclusive kit each month for anybody that doesn't know. And we do have a private Facebook group where I paint live with you. We put our kit together each month as well. Um, so it's a fun time. All right, let's see. We got just a few quick minutes left here. Where do we want to put his B? Let's put his B. I'm going to put his right here. So there's our little boy gnome. And I even checked this morning to see who was up after me so I could tell you guys. And guess what? I forgot. I have bad memory, so I apologize. But definitely stick around. Watch the next crafter. If you're not in the crafter on the clock group, make sure that you head over and give us a follow there. We do do live crafting all week long. Well, every day, but it's scheduled out um, all week long with the live crafts. And then there are replays at night and on the weekends. So always something fun going on over here. How do I find your website? If you go to dizzydesigner.com, that's my website. And then these kits are listed under the spring um, collection. So you just go to the um, DIY kits spring collection and that's where you'll find these. Oops, I slid that too. And then once it dries, I won't do it yet, but it'll stand right in the little stand there. And I do wanna throw yellow on the background here. So we're not gonna have time to finish it, I don't think. But I will, oh, that's, I'm glad I checked that, that was black. You're welcome. All right, guys, I am running out of time. I'm live every Friday morning. I'll be live every Tuesday afternoon this month as well. So if you're new to me, hit the follow button. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help answer anything. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Oh, Jeremiah Dreams. Yes, thank you. She is next. So go check her out. Um, if you guys are new to me, hit the follow button. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Friday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.